Greetings comrades, my name is Dragantles and welcome back to another video of Exposing Christians Exposing Satan's Kingdom So last episode I talked about how this page blocked me simply because I like the critical comment on it It's run by an apparent evangelical church who doesn't like the Catholic Church much And they like to put up false arguments, strawman arguments, ad hominems, lies, falsehoods and stuff to try and in order to justify their claims All the, the content on it when you look at all the hates and stuff that motivates it, not love out of Christians, no, the hate, but the sheer hatred of the Catholic Church and all the falsehoods and stuff it puts forward, when you see stuff like this in the Protestant form, uh, the denominations, and this is Protestant, whether it likes to label itself that or not, because it came after the Reformation and it embodies, I'm not saying it's necessarily a criteria, but they embody multiple beliefs of the Reformation. Because of that, they are Protestant, regardless if they name themselves something else or not. But when you see all the hate and stuff, and what it's led to them doing against the Catholic Church, including following and believing in lies, actual people who do research are driven away from those churches because they realize, well, I don't want to be part of a church in which hating and making up lies is apparently proof that you need to join it. I mean, they're making up lies and stuff about other churches and saying, now we've criticized them, join us, because we're not like that. In the end, they're just driving other people away. And oddly enough, we... The meme I told you about, the the um the meme that criticized us, I didn't get to show you uh, didn't get to show you that one, but I have found not only the meme that did that um, that sparked this whole thing, but also the meme, also their response to uh, the Catholic response to the meme. So here's the meme. It was a meme that basically showed the it showed the two obelisks and said, "Did you know?" So it said showed an obelisk in ancient Egypt and then it showed an obelisk in the Vatican. And it said, "The Vatican is not associated with Christianity. It is an ancient Babylonian pagan cult based on the worship of the sun and pagan gods. Billions are unknowingly glorifying Lucifer." Well, other than the fact that a there's not billions of Catholics, um, b they don't understand what Lu that Lucifer is both a name and a title, just as how Satan is both a name and a title. Uh, um, the accusing party in a court could be called Luc could be, could be called Satan, and Jesus could be called Lucifer. And there's nothing wrong with those if you use them in the right context, because one means one because Lucifer means light bearer in Latin, which isn't necessarily restricted to just simply a name for for the devil, and Satan means accuser in Hebrew, so not just simply another name for the devil. But anyway, the ob what this um what this evangelical page doesn't seem to realize is that that obelisk in the middle of the Vatican, it's actually held up as a sign of victory of the Catholic Church over the pagan Roman Empire. This obelisk used to stand in the center of the Circus Maximus. And the Circus Maximus is where thousands of Christians were martyred for the faith. So this obelisk is almost in a sense a gravestone to those uh, to those martyred Christians. And so having that in the center of the church is effectively saying, we won. We won because of the sacrifice of those martyrs. We have a place that we can call our own. We have a place we can remember them properly. This obelisk has been washed clean by the blood of those martyrs. This is where they. This is where we will remember them. And then there's also a cross on top of that obelisk, and that again shows the Christian victory over paganism. And then as for the Babylonian and pagan cults, that I can go into another point in time, more specifically. So the page then responds to this, saying, Anti-Catholics really have a talent for the stupidest arguments. All dogs have four legs, all cats have four legs, therefore my dog is a cat. Want to get banned from their page? Go troll him. And then they had like a little devil face going. According to the evangelical response to this, it says, The difference between religion and relationship with God through Jesus Christ, which is true religion, is this. We won't retaliate. We hope the lost in religion, without the relationship with Jesus Christ, turn to Jesus Christ, all religions, all denominations, because Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father but by him. Matthew 5.39 KGV But I say unto you, that ye resist not evil, but whatsoever shall smite thee on thy right cheek, turn to him the other also. But here's the... And then and then one that comments, they actually should see the comment in the comments is, if one person from that page comes to Jesus Christ, then, I, the pers uh, then their persecution is worth it. Our likes have gone up significantly since their attacks. And I'd like to point out some of the lies this person puts forward right here. Okay, firstly, this is not persecution. Okay, evangelical church, don't you dare call this persecution. Persecution is what's going on in, Christ in countries where Christians are being killed for their faith, where they're being attacked, assaulted, they are being discriminated against. A meme page criticizing another meme page is not persecution. Don't you dare insult the memory of all those who have actually faced persecution. If you can't simply take criticism of a meme that you put up, which has been proven wrong several times, you just lack the, you just uh, lack the effort to actually research it, then that's your fault. Grow up. 
Secondly, the Catholic Church, by definition, is with Jesus Christ. We have him in the Blessed Sacrament. I mean, I think that the East Orthodox and the Coptics and maybe a couple of Lutherans, they also are, they also believe in the True Presence, but this evangelical page definitely doesn't, okay? So, they're definitely far from Jesus. So they don't want to even accept him in their midst. Thirdly, their likes have not gone up significantly. I actually went onto their post, and I think that's, I think um, what they did was they, they deleted the initial post, which is why we see the, the Catholic pages respond, uh, trying to share this post as empty, and then they re-uploaded it. But people from the Catholic page, uh, they went onto this, onto the evangelical page anyway, and they laughed at their post. The idea that they, that this evangelical page likes have gone up is wrong. I've actually looked at their pages before, and I've actually looked at the memes before and after this. And on a good on a good day, in a sense, they get around 300 reactions. Okay. The majority of them are likes, some of them are laughs, if it's a funny topic, some of them are angry, some of them are sad, okay? But it's generally likes. Concerning the, um... Uh, on a bad day, it's maybe only maybe like a handful of likes or cares or whatever. The meme, the second version, I guess you could say, the second time they posted this image on their evangelical page, it received more than half, more than half of its, there were almost 400 reactions, and more than half of those were laughs. Much less of those were likes, and then the rest were angry, uh, angry, caring, whatever. But the point is, the majority of reactions to this are laughing, not likes. Those are just reactions. You can, you can classify them as reactions, but specifically it was not likes, okay? It was laughs. After this, it's been the same general trend, so you know, generally around 300 or so reactions to their, reactions to their posts and stuff. Uh, the majority of which don't actually go anywhere near 100. It's just mainly maybe stuff related to the news and stuff. It's their memes that really get the meme, the most of their con most of their likes and stuff. But if this meme is meant to be like the most popular meme, uh, the most the, you know the most popular meme because it's got all sorts of likes and stuff now, it's not because almost half of the reaction to that to that meme are laughs, not likes. Which means that this person you talk about how their likes have gone up significantly, that's wrong because they are memes. That they've made with less reactions than that, than that uh, than the second upload of that post, but they've had more likes to them than found than found in their re-uploaded image. So that's them. That's just them trying to twist the facts to make it seem like, oh, you know, we were bringing people to us even in the face of persecution that we claim is persecution and insult and spit on the faces of all those who have been persecuted. Also, when they say we won't retaliate, yes, you did. Yes, you did retaliate. You deleted every single comment that criticized you, every single person that laughed at this post, as far as I know, every single person who agreed with the criticism of your page, you you are literally censoring everyone who disagrees with you. You okay, you you didn't you didn't turn the other cheek, no. You did not do that. You did retaliate. You just didn't do it in a way in, in a in a similar way that this meme criticized you. All you did was you, you pretended, okay, you pretended to be the Christian, we'll turn the other cheek. Whilst you're busy deleting hundreds of people from uh, blocking hundreds of people from your page, from commenting or whatever, and liking or respond reacting anyway to your posts, because you didn't want their criticism. So don't give me we will turn the other cheek, because that's not what you did at all. Again, this double standard here with this evangelical church is proof why you should definitely not join them. I mean not only are they so not only are they putting forward falsehoods, but they are also refusing to even have discussion with people. I mean, they were called out on one of their anti-Catholic posts, okay? They were called out on it. And instead of saying, okay, fine, let, we will listen to what you're trying to correct us, or, or something like that, they instead just deleted everyone who disagreed with them. That's censorship. I don't care what you try and what you try and claim it under, okay? That is not turning the other cheek. Okay, anyway, next meme, before I continue getting angry. So there's a meme about transhumanism. It's an antichrist movement coming to a country, state, city, and town near you. Fair enough. Okay, fair enough. Although they quote from Daniel claiming about the um, the iron mixed with clay in the feet of the statue, I don't think that would be an accurate way to compare it to uh, transhumanism. The uh, devil hates families and will do everything to try and destroy them. Fight for your family, not with your family. Okay, well um, well you've clearly uh, you're clearly preventing discussion with other denominations, especially the Catholic Church, by criticizing them instead of trying to turn the other cheek in any other claims they make against you or you know, actually putting an effort on your end in any of the claims against the church. So all you're doing is actually sowing hatred yourself. Okay, so the souls that claim witchcraft to be good are lost in the arms of the demons. And then it shows, um, it basically shows neo Wiccans. I will agree with the um, with this page on that. They, um, 
the, the embracing of neo-paganism and neo-wiccanism and stuff is definitely strange. I mean, it's like it's, we're going backwards, okay? Society is going backwards. The New Age movement is simply occult Satanism disguised as positivity. And you know what? Yes, that is right. The New Age movement is based on a combination of a... Uh, maybe, I guess you could say European... American Wiccanism combined with Eastern mysticism. There's not much I can really say about this without going into a whole big video, but yeah, definitely stay away, with, stay away from the New Age movement. Our desire to obey God should be greater than the, than the desire to sin. Yet you lie about us, about the Catholic Church, instead of actually being honest and saying, even though they believe in the true presence, we don't, and this is why. No. They, they won't go the theology-wise, they'll just put forward uh, bad memes. Idolatry is not just worshipping a statue, it's putting anything in your life above God. And that is very much true. Idolatry is not necessarily relating to idols, that is in like just pieces of wood and stone, metal. If you see flashes, that's just me saving images. It's not just about literally statues, okay? It's about what you give attention reserved for God, but you give it to something else, whether it be an, an, an inanimate object or a person. If you give it to a person, then it becomes a cult. Well, I guess if, it, if you give it to a statue, that can become a cult as well, but there's a bit of a difference when you have a, a pagan cult centered around a statue versus a pagan versus a cult like the Eastern Church, like the Eastern Lightning or the Church of the Mighty God. When you are living your life in biblical truth, you can expect spiritual warfare. Well, yes, I know, because I obviously... Well, there's a shift factor even here on this Evangelical Church meme uh, page, which they, you know, they spread falsehoods and stuff about the church, the true church, and so you have, so people have to go up and defend the church against that. Not necessarily because the church needs defending, but because so it stops people falling away, uh, you know, people who are less educated from falling away. Uh, because of these falsehoods and stuff, uh, because of these falsehoods and stuff they claim, because you know Satan likes working with lies, and so lies that this page puts forward, he definitely he's definitely thankful that there's a page like this out there to try and lead people away. However, people like me, apologists, uh, including ones far better than me, I will say, and when I mean far better, I mean they write books, and they pretty much the basis of of neo apologetics and stuff. But with their help and me get helping spread their ideas by refusing memes like this. You know, we're stopping Satan to spread, continuing to spread his lies. When you stay committed to the scriptures, it says the word, the flesh, and the devil, and then, the, and sorry, the world, the world, the flesh, and the devil, bunch of horsemen, and then the Christian, the lone, the lone swordsman. Hmm, interesting. Although that could also be said that all those horsemen are all the Protestant churches and fallen away churches versus the Catholic Church. Although I will say that the Coptics, uh, the Copts, the, the Syrian Church in the East, and the East Orthodox churches. Of, uh, would possibly can be considered the same person as well because they're very close in their theology they're almost in communion with Rome or rather the Vatican okay they're almost there oh, they, I remember seeing this one before Muslims shows a picture of the Kaaba Catholics it shows Orthodox Christians holding the original cross like the original design and then the one with the the small plaque like that and then the two ones like that okay it says both worship idols they profess that they know God but in works they deny him being abominable and disobedient and unto every good work reprobate Titus 116 KGB actually that's where you're wrong we the Muslims don't uh, worship the Ka the Kaaba the reason why they the reason why and I can't believe I'm defending Islam here I will defend those who need to be defended even if people even if they're, they're of theology or religion I disagree with if there's a lie being spread about them I will correct it so, Muslims do not worship the Kaaba. The reason why they all kneel towards the Kaaba is because inside the Kaaba, if you look inside of it, the, there's a spot in which it is believed that the Prophet Muhammad went to pray. And so, just like their, pro their great Prophet Muhammad, what they do is they kneel around the Kaaba in remembrance, effectively, in remembrance of Muhammad praying there. And they pray, not idolizing the Kaaba, but effectively what it's meant to mean, they're doing it out of like almost like a tradition. For the, for the Catholic side, that's not idolatry either, because they're using, they're using symbols, religious icons, for veneration to help them worship God. Okay, and this, this, is, this is something I find really stupid about the Protestant churches who are iconoclasts, who are, who are iconoclasts, and they reject icons and stuff. Well, given how um, the Ark of the Covenant had two golden cherubim in it, Moses made Nehushtan, a bronze snake on a cross, Solomon constructed in a, a magnificent temple filled with giant cherubim and other religious uh, religious artwork and stuff there there is nothing wrong with using religious icons for worship okay As you're not worshiping the icons themselves okay you're not worshiping the cherubim on the ark you're worshiping 
well, you're worshiping the word of God, which is meant to be, in a sense, be in the ark, you know, because God is meant to be with the ark, you know, amidst, amidst the Hebrews. You're not worshiping the actual ark itself. Okay, it's just helping you focus. For instance, if I'll, I'll probably find it easier to pray in a church than I would in my house. And that's because the church is every, there's, you know, tons of icons and stuff around me, you know, tons of artwork. It's got the right atmos atmosphere, which helps me focus. And there's nothing wrong with taking uh, religious icons at all, okay? I mean, there's nothing, especially with, um, with the cross here. The Nehushtan was literally a bronze snake, and everyone's fine with that. But a cross, just a plain cross, or maybe a cross with Jesus' picture on it, and all of a sudden everyone's going, Aah! Seriously? Really? The way... Again, it's weird, because this this meme, it, earlier in the video, but later on in the date for these guys, they then talk about how idolatry is not necessarily... Idolatry is when you put anything before God. And none of these images, none of these images, like none of, the, none of the crucifixes here and the Kaaba, isn't being put before God, not at all. They are just used. The images of them are used to help focus on God. For instance, the cross reminds us of the sacrifice, and the Kaaba reminds them who Muslims are of the tradition. So what's? And I'm not necessarily saying that uh, Islam is right in theology, but at least actually understand what they say about the Kaaba. So what's wrong with using icons to help you focus on God? Or are you just saying that icons are bad because you just want an excuse against the church? Well, it looks like Muhammad, it looks like Muhammad, um, it looks like Moses is in hell for using Nehushtan a bronze snake, which is definitely f making a statue of a bronze snake. It should be far worse than making a, a cross with a picture of Jesus on it to remind us of the sacrifice he made for us. Or do double stands apply there as well for these for this evangelical church? Uh, okay, the image of Baphomet, and he says those who kneel before this image deliberately worship Satan. It is a picture of Christ. Uh, one of the images I used in one of my early videos, in which he's doing the, um, I think it's the orthodox, the orthodox hand gesture. The one that's, the one that's, you know, the, the ones that meant to spell out the initials of Christ. And he says, those who kneel before this image ignorantly worship Satan. And no, 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 no. Other than the fact that I've already defended the use of religious icons, this meme clearly has no idea what it's saying. Because when, I know that the people point out how the apparently Baphomet is using, you know, he's doing this. No, wait. What's he doing? He's doing this. We know it shows you know, it's satanic and everything. And all the like, all the icons of Jesus doing this also satanic. No, it's not. The icons of Jesus doing this came first. They came first before Baphomet. This is a blessing. This is a blessing that you use. Okay, you've got the, you've got the three persons of the Holy Trinity and you've got the two natures of Christ. Okay, then there's the Antiochian one. The, the, the blessing from Antiochian tradition. Okay, the Church of Antioch. In which they, they bless you like this. And then there's the orthodox one, which is something like... I can never do this one, right? It's something like that. There's nothing wrong with this blessing. I mean, even even the Buddhists, the, the Buddhist the, the Buddhist blessing, which it looks similar to this. That came hundreds of years after icons of Jesus like this started appearing. So there's nothing wrong with a, either a religious icon or a blessing like this appearing in, the, in one of those icons, okay? Either just iconoclasts uh, just overreacting to images and trying to find any excuse to go against the Catholic Church, okay? Again... Nehushtan making a statue of a bronze snake for the people to to venerate God through to to help even even if it was to cure them from the adders among them. Okay, regardless of that, making an uh, making a statue of a bronze snake that should be far worse than making an image of Jesus for people to venerate God through. Okay, it's a snake we're talking about here, but no, they're they're not reacting to that. Okay, um, they definitely haven't posted much concerning uh, memes for a little bit in the times I've been scrolling. But something I will do, uh, something I will do, I will point out, is actually one of the apparent related pages on their links. It says, Adult Biz Online Adult Store, e-commerce site. And it appears a picture of what looks like, you know those, you know those French balls? They're like from like the 17th, like you know, the 18th century, 17th, 18th century, in which it looks like almost like, um, you know, they have a mask that does that. Everyone wears a mask like that, so it's like all sparkly. It looks like that, with like little horns and a devil's tail. And I briefly clicked onto the site to actually confirm what this was. And it's effectively, it's an adult store. Like, and I mean adult store. You can buy things from there. So I find it a bit interesting how Christians Exposing Satan's Kingdom has a related page in which it... A related page to this page is one concerning fornication and sexual perversion. It's a bit strange how there's an adult store, and I mean an adult store, on this apparently almost uh, puritanical, okay, or this almost puritan site, or well, puritan page here, which also puts forth falsehoods against the Catholic Church. I mean, this is definitely, I mean, not they're saying they're in their um, 
they're indulging in this. No, I'm not saying that. But I'm saying it is a bit is a bit strange because they only they usually put it up related pages if there's something that they've probably registered. So maybe this maybe this page has put up too many images of you know like half naked woman in talking about how you know don't go the ways of the earth and she's like half naked woman like posing whatever and then it shows someone praying to Christ. Maybe they should stop putting those images up because they've used up so many, but they've put up so many they've now got adult sites advertised on their page. But anyway, that's it effectively for this video. I've refused a whole bunch of memes and stuff, and I mean, there's, there's a whole bunch more, but yeah, there's a whole bunch more. I've got a few years left to go through this, but it's just that there's so much, and some very quiet. There's a lot of, uh, I need to add a lot of commentary and stuff to try and explain it and explain why these memes are wrong or why some of them may be right, which is surprising that they can be right despite all these falsehoods. But I'll put those, I'll put more memes and stuff in the next video against these guys. That'll be for in that video. So, anyway. That was part two of exposing Christians, exposing Satan's kingdom. They themselves, this page itself is a kingdom of falsehoods, lies, and pride, effectively. And when I mean pride, I mean they think that they have the authority to interpret God's uh, word however they want, even though the sheer fact, like with icons, the fact that they're overreacting to an image of Christ, trying to bless, you know, Christ blessing someone, but then they're perfectly fine with Moses creating a literal bronze, bronze snake on a cross for people to worship and kneel before. Double standards there. Double standards. But anyway, so that's it for this video. If you like this video, please do give it a like. Please do share my videos or please do comment on what you think of them and any other video you want me to do. Please do subscribe to my channel so you can see more of this content. And please do ring and uh, please do ring the bell so you keep up to date with my video releases. Next episode, I might be refusing more of these memes. It depends on if anything big comes up and I forget about this. But if I if I do just remind me and I'll continue looking through this because there's definitely a lot of good stuff I could refute here. And that'll be for them. So anyway, God bless you all. See you next video, comrades. Until then.